Shazam. Fury of the Fury of the Gods. I really had to remind myself of that title. So here's the disclaimer I need to give. Full transparency, I did not love the first Shazam movie. I definitely have a good understanding of what people appreciated about it. I think at the time, the DCEU was a mess. Still is. But then we were desperate for anything fun, anything lighthearted, and I think the family element of what made that first movie so successful was really appealing. I would be very curious for the people that enjoyed the first one so much if it still holds up if you've seen it recently. So comment below if you did like the first one and if you still like it today. That being said, going into this film, I had very low expectations. And I would say I enjoyed it much more than I thought I would. If you enjoyed the tone and the theme of the first film, a lot of that still exists here. Family is still a big deal in this film. And all these kids we get to actually see be superheroes more so than we did in the first one. I think the other disclaimer I need to give is that I've never been the biggest Zachary Levi fan. No doubt the guy has charisma. But I never really got into Chuck or any other things he's been in. And so I don't have the initial appeal like most people do. But if you are a fan of him and the type of humor that he gives off, especially like the first one, it pretty much still lands in this one. There are a lot of corny jokes, but for the most part, I thought it was pretty funny and more funny than cringe. The one thing that does annoy me a lot in this film, like it did in the first one, is I cannot stand watching grown-ups act like children. And I have to give some sort of pass because that is the entire premise of this movie. But when we're watching these people as kids interact with one another, I'm in. I like the dynamics, I like the relationships they have. But when you see a grown adult acting and making decisions like a child does, I'm really put off by it. Within the plot of this movie, a lot of it is moved forward by the decisions made by these characters. A lot of mistakes are made, the antagonists are enforced by the decisions made by these characters, and so I can't quite explain what irritates me so much, but seeing a grown adult make poor decisions that a child would make, it's just a little unsettling for me. As far as new cast goes, we had Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu, and Rachel Zegler all make appearances, and I thought they were all very entertaining on screen. There was a great interview with Rachel Zegler, I think on a red carpet or something similar where she was asked, why did you want to be in a DC movie? And she basically said, I wanted a job, which I think is one of the most honest answers anyone has ever given, because let's be honest, Helen Mirren isn't just doing this for love of the comics. But I think they all earned their pay, especially the rest of the cast. Everyone does a pretty solid job and you really do feel the chemistry with a lot of these characters. So all that being said, why didn't I love this movie? Well, to put it as basic as possible, it is so generic. There is something to be said about this film being relatively contained, especially location wise to the city of Philadelphia. And I do enjoy seen real life pedestrians in a superhero movie. It feels like we haven't seen that a lot lately. But where this movie goes off the rail is it focuses way too much on the plot, which isn't interesting at all, and it pretty much just leads to a giant CGI battle. And look, I'm not against CGI. I think it can be used well, but in this case, I don't think it is. It's pretty much just existing to create creatures, cold lightning in the sky, and none of it actually matters to you as the audience because you cannot tell what is happening. This film focuses a lot of magic, and that makes sense considering Shazam's backstory. But I think the problem I often have with magic, especially within film, is it's hard as the audience to keep track of what's happening and what are the rules to how this magic is applied. It kind of just ends with a bunch of lightning just being shot back and forth with each other, and so I don't really know how I'm supposed to feel when I just see a bunch of flashing lights. When I get to the end of the movie, I cannot tell what the conclusion really is. Not really much was moved forward with the characters, not much was really moved forward with the plot or the universe, and in fact, the things that do connect to the DCU overall feels so forced in, Shazam still doesn't feel like a real character that exists with the other ones. It's also wild to me that we're still throwing these movies out, especially since James Gunn is very vocal on Twitter with how much the DC is changing. We got what? Flash, Aquaman, and that's it? So watching this movie feels especially unimportant knowing that none of it's actually going to matter pretty soon. So yeah, I didn't love this movie. Maybe you did, especially if you liked the first movie. Well, let me know in the comments. Have you seen it? What do you think? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I will see you next time.